Hey everybody, I'm really excited to share with you Etherpad if you're not already familiar with it. Etherpad is an online technology that allows up to 15 users to simultaneously edit a single document, kind of like Google Docs, but it can be edited by multiple users at the same exact time. And I'm going to show you what it looks like and give you an example of how I used it in the classroom. But first, I would like to share with you a pretty fun story of how I actually used it for the first time in my class about a month ago. So come join me. Ray Zahab is an extreme athlete with a purpose. He was one of three people to run across the entire Sahara Desert and has started an organization called Impossible to Possible where he can teach children and inspire the world to believe that they actually can do anything they put their mind to. Within every fiber of my belief standing here, I know that we can make the impossible possible. I'm, I'm learning this at 40 years of age. Imagine being 13 years old, hearing those words and believing it. I'm very humbled and proud to be one of the 30 schools participating in following and supporting Ray and Kevin on their latest adventure, which was to run across frozen Lake Baikal in Russia, the largest fresh body of water on earth in order to raise awareness of water issues and actually to raise money for um, safe drinking water in regions of both Uganda and Kenya. And so part of this process, Ray has actually done a live video conference with us, as well as live telephone calls and responding to questions. It's just been really exciting for the kids. Oh, there we go. You hey can guys, see us? Can see you now. All right. Hi. Hey, there he is. All right. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Wow, that's a lot of people. Keep, keep saying hi. Keep saying hi. Yeah. It's all already. right. The wonders of technology. So you can imagine, we were really, really excited after getting off of this video conference with Ray after he spent 20 minutes answering all of our questions and getting us really pumped up for the adventure. So we wanted to write him a collective thank you letter. And fortunately, I'm at an Apple one-to-one -one school, so every kid has their own MacBook. And we were using pages, as you can see here, and the kids were writing a thank you letter to Ray. And the idea was that I was, we were then going to share out our thank you letters and somehow combine them together and have one collective class thank you letter. But logistically, it wasn't really working. And I felt that the kids writing the thank you letter on their own independently, it, we just weren't able to match the magic and excitement that we felt uh, when we were experiencing the video conference with Ray, and it wasn't, I didn't feel we were going to be able to reflect the actual feeling of what we wanted to deliver in the letter. So my idea was, hey, let's experiment with Etherpad and have all the kids work at the same time to write the letter together. And this is what happened, and this is why I'm totally excited about Etherpad in the class. As you can see here, students are just exploring the interface and realizing that whatever they type appears. And what also was happening is, I think as a result, students started sabotaging each other. They realized that they could anonymously just delete whatever the kid in front before them put. And that was a very real problem. And what I loved about using Etherpad in sort of this open way without giving a whole lot of direction was that it was a new tool that the kids had to discover and learn together for the first time. And so they were learning a new environment, problem solving, and having to communicate a lot in order to be successful. Here you're seeing fast motion, what it looked like, and you can see, you can imagine kids when they're having a big chunk of what they're writing deleted will get pretty frustrated, but that just made it even more important that the students communicated as to why they were making the edits and the decisions. And a last thing that I noted which was super exciting was a lot of the kids who typically are a little more quiet and independent during class were actually moving around the classroom and taking charge of helping explain um, what students were doing wrong and how to do it correctly. So there was a lot of real collaboration and I can just see this type of tool being used in so many different creative ways to help kids learn writing and to communicate more effectively. So go check out Etherpad at etherpad.com right now and let me know how you're going to use it in the classroom.